Kira. I'm Maggie. I'm Caitlin. We're all orientation leaders and we're here today to answer some frequently asked questions that we get on moving day. Where can students buy items they may have forgotten? Whenever I go anywhere, I always forget socks. <laughs> I always forget I need a pillow to sleep at night. Bed Bath & Beyond and Target are both five minute walks away. We live in a great city area. Anything you could need for school, you have it right in the area. Some of my friends who have moved in from far away had their stuff sent to Bed Bath & Beyond or Target beforehand and then picked it up the day of move-in so they didn't have to like fly with everything. I love City Target. It's two floors. It has an escalator. Yeah. Like, it's a magical It place. has an escalator for your cart. Yeah. yeah. It does. What are some must-have items? Command strips and hooks. I really appreciate my small carpet, especially if it's cold or I just got out of the shower. I think it makes it more homey too, having yeah. carpets and um, curtains even too. Mm -hmm. You can also have twinkle lights. So I know I have white ones and I've had them for like two years now. Me too. Yeah, and I hang them with my command hooks, but I know people who have multicolored ones and some that have ones that look like little lanterns yeah. and stuff. I also enjoy having extra storage containers. Oh, yeah. um, also, I love those collapsible storage bins. Here we have <laughs> our giant oh. Ziploc totes. Some things that you can't bring, candles, a microwave. There's some beanbag chairs you can't bring. If it doesn't have an automatic shutoff, probably should yeah, bring that's it. True. So let's do it next. What is the biggest mistake that you made when packing for college your first year? I think I packed my whole life. I definitely came with way too much stuff. My high school yearbook. Yes, I didn't need it. Like, I, I never looked at it. I brought it too. Yeah. You don't, you don't need, need your it. high school yearbook. <laughs> don't bring it. What if a student is coming to move-in day without friends or family to help out? Not a problem. Yeah. Um, we have <laughs> wonderful orientation leaders like ourselves Us. Um, and a street <laughs> team that someone's put street together. Team. I like that the street team isn't just students too. Um, some oh, yeah. faculty and staff work it. Mm -hmm. And that's really cool because you might be talking to someone who's like your professor or your admission counselor. Yeah. And it's really organized too. Yeah, Simmons allows it. you to check out carts and dollies to move like bigger items of furniture and to mm -hmm. really make everything go faster. It's really fun. I know incoming students sometimes get a little nervous, but it's like maybe the best day of the year for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're all finally here. It's a reunion yeah. with people that we haven't met yet. <laughs> it's just like a really fun time and there's usually music playing and snacks. Around. There's, there's free snacks. Stormy the Shark is there. Hope Thanks for watching. I was trying to flip it onto yeah. my head. That, that yeah. didn't work out. No. Thanks for watching anyways. <laughs> Can't wait to see y'all move in day. Your moment. Your move. Your move in day. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Sharks out.